it's World Book Day and reading stories in my house is one of our favourite things to do. We have loads of books and at the moment one of the current favourites, in fact I'm going to read you a few of the current favourites, is this particular series here by Oliver Jeffers and Drew DeWalt and it's called The Day the Crayons Quit. So here we go. One day in class Duncan went out to take went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Dear Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out colouring fire engines, apples, strawberries and everything else that's red. I even work on the holidays. I have to colour in all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest, your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that you're, I'm your favourite crayon for grapes, dragons, wizard hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous colour goes outside of the lines. If you don't start colouring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I am also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown Crayon gets all the bears, ponies and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about colouring wheat? your beige friend, beige crayon. Duncan, great crayon here. You're killing me. I know that you love elephants and I know that elephants are grey, but that's a lot of space to colour all by myself. I don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things, such big animals. Baby penguins are grey, you know, so are tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Grey Crayon. Dear Duncan, you colour with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same colour as the page that you are using me on, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know that I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to colour snow or fill in the empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, Empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. Hi Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are coloured in. By all of the other colours, all of which think that they are brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colours of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing to you for two reasons. One is to say I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful colouring green things career so far. The second reason I write to you is for my friends, Yellow and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel that they should be the colour of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving us crazy. Your friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need to tell you that Orange Crayon and I need to tell, I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the colour of the sun. I would, but I'm no longer talking to him. And I can prove that I am the colour of the sun because last Tuesday you used me in the, to colour the sun in your Happy Farm colouring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true colour of the sun, yellow crayon. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tittle Tattle that he is not the colour of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. 
We both know that I am clearly the colour of the sun because on Thursday you used me to colour the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo colouring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real colour of the sun, Orange Crayon. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favourite colour for this past year and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing of the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan. OK, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's colour, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister that I said thank you for using me to colour in her Pretty Princess's colouring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometime to colour the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of colour. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and I'm too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help, your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to colour. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And so that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good work sticker for colouring. and a gold star for creativity. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's a firm favourite in our house. I'm going to come back a bit later and I'm going to read to you the day that the crayons came home, which personally I think is much better than this one, although this one is very good. So have a great World Book Day and really know that books are so magical. They bring so much magic and wonder into our lives in so many different ways. I am a bit of a bookworm and as I look around my office, I've got so many books. And then I am also a bit of a techie and I've got um, an iBooks library full of books because I just think it's amazing how we can learn so much. And actually, for me, kids' books are an amazing, amazing way of escaping. And yeah. It makes the end of the day loads of fun and story time, as I say, is always a firm favourite in our house. So I will catch you a little bit later with more stories. See you soon.